How's it going today, YouTube? Uh, today we're going to do some Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battles, and just kind of for fun, just to kind of get the get the game flowing. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done ranked battles in Pokemon. I used to be really into it when Sword and Shield came out, and up till season six or no, season five, I think, was the last one I played a lot of. Um, but I haven't really been into it since then, so we're not up to date on the current meta or anything. We're just gonna go in and use the team that we were using and just see how we do. You know, maybe we'll win, maybe we'll lose. I don't know, but we'll, we're just gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it feels. So, connect to the internet here. Probably should have done this first, but, you know, impromptu. Okay, so we're going into double battle here. We got zero wins, zero losses, rank right at the beginning. So this will be good. This will be a good to kind of get back into it. Uh, we're like I said, we're going to use the team that we had before, which was this, and I did pretty well with it before, honestly. So we're going to give it a shot. But I don't know what the current meta is. It's been so long since I've done this. We'll uh, we'll kind of see how we do. against Rebecca. Good luck, Rebecca. Okay. So she kind of has an interesting team. Let's see. Hmm. Um, I love Butterfree. Butterfree is one of my favorites, and I think Butterfree is pretty underrated in ranked battles, honestly. We'll bring Porygon just to kind of just as kind of like a see where it goes kind of thing. Actually, we'll leave Porygon in the back. And we'll... There we go. We'll give this a shot and just kind of see how we do. Like I said, it's been so long. Well, it's been so long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this even if I lose. Just to kind of... Just to see where we are. I miss ranked battles. I used to do it so much. It's been so long. Wish me luck. the Cinderace here, because I think that's pretty threatening. And then we're going to Nasty Plot here, just to kind of raise her special attack a little bit. I'm guessing if she does do a first turn Dynamax or Gigantamax, it's going to be on Cinderace. But I could be wrong. Nope, I was wrong. It's a little surprising, but that's fine. Okay, and since the Cinderace already moved, it's guaranteed to be asleep next turn, so that's good for us. My special attack is up to... That was, that really wasn't the best first turn for us, not gonna lie. We're gonna Rage Powder, which means we're gonna lose the Butterfree, which is fine. And then we're going to... We're gonna Max Ooze, because then that'll raise our special attack even more. It 
and in my Slowbro here it has the quick draw ability and the quick claw item. So it works out to like a 35% chance that it just automatically goes first, even though it's really slow. But Rage Powder is a priority move, so that's gonna go. down two special defense, which is really kind of not good for us, honestly. But we're up three special defense, or special attack now. <laughs> Both pretty slow, which really isn't helpful for us, but we'll do the Porygon. I wasn't prepared for the Dynamax Thiebel. That was pretty surprising to me. If we get lucky here and uh, Slowbro can go first, that would actually be... Oh! Okay. I guess that's good for us? I don't know. I felt like they were doing pretty good, but... Battle team. Yeah, we'll do another one. I wonder what happened. I wonder if they backed out or if they lost internet or something. They weren't doing bad, so I don't know why they would have backed out. I mean, they were 4 to 3 for Pokemon. Okay, a lot of legendaries. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> See how this goes. I don't like the inclusion of legendaries in ranked battles just because they're always kind of overpowered. Um, I know they're not like legendary legendaries, like cover art legendaries, but I don't know. I, I always thought it was kind of weird. I'm guessing we're going to see Charizard, Urshifu, or Metagross in the lead. Mm, or maybe the Cottony, because it can use Tailwind and speed him up. Taking a long time to make their selection. Okay, here we go. both accounts. Psychic terrain so priority moves don't work, good to know. I'm gonna go straight for the first turn Dynamax just to get our speed up. And that Urshifu is kind of scary so we'll try and take that out. And then we'll we'll do the Urshifu to sleep too, because I'm guessing that's the Dynamax candidate right there. So either I'm faster or they did not Dynamax. First turn Dynamax, kind of. I don't know, it's a catch of 2020 because then you potentially lose their Dynamax later, but you also get early turn stat boost, which is always good. Wow, first turn critical hit. 
that's not good for me. But we took out the Urshifu, that that is good for me. Perfect. And we got a speed boost. And Butterfree and Falcarona are both pretty fast, so speed boost on top of that. We're in good shape just for that. That also means the Butterfree is going to end up targeting the... Yeah. Ooh, the Protective Mist didn't work. I think that was my bad. I think I, uh... I missed that. That I should have... I should have realized the sleep powder wouldn't work, but that's on me. But I should still be faster, so. What do I got here? We'll double into that and the Latios and. The Latios, I mean. We know we can outspeed the Tapu, but those things are pretty fast, so we'll see. But I do have a, I do have one up on speed too, so I guess it depends on how they're invested in their EV spread. Nice. Walkeron is so good. It really is. Probably my favorite one type. We're gonna lose the walker on it, but that's okay. We're still up 3 2. The question is where do we want to go from there? Slowbro again. There's the Metagross. What do we got left for Psychic Terrain? Or Misty Terrain? Status Condition and Damage from Dragon Team. Okay. I don't really know what to do here. Butterfree is not really helping in this situation, but I don't want to switch into Rhyperior. <clears throat> We're going to see the Metagross Dynamax, I'm guessing. did more than I thought it would. I think if we got a KO there, we were actually in pretty good shape. Wow. Do a quick research really quick. Get some of the rules involved in Misty Terrain. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can go first on this one. And then, um, 
slow go if slow bro goes first, I think we might be okay. Ooh, interesting. This takes it. Yep. I don't think we win this. Especially with those defense boosts, we don't win this. That's unfortunate. And that did less than I thought it would. But I'm not gonna quit. We're gonna play it out to the end just because I'm that kind of person. I don't like uh, giving out mid fight, but I don't think we win. I think if we would have focused on the top at the beginning instead of the um, more offensive threats, I think we would have done okay. Yep. Ooh, and a critical hit. I don't know if the critical hit mattered. It might have. It might have gone out either way. If not, it would have with the muddy water from the top for sure. Well, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping to win one, but the first one gave us a win, kind of. So we'll uh, we'll call it that. And you know what? We'll we'll be back with more of these double battles because this is really fun. I really miss doing this. So thanks for watching me lose today, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And if uh, if you have any recommendations of what to do with this team or maybe some good additions to it let me know let me know and we'll maybe we'll change it up a bit we'll probably do a few videos with this team and then we'll do, we'll change it up a bit <laughs>